Hey guys, Danny with Marvel Control, and I'm showing off the Sonos to Arnet version 2.0 of the firmware. And we add a bunch of new features. Uh, the most notable one is the ability to add a Sonos component, which allows us to pair multiple Sonos devices to a bridge, meaning you can't do, it's still a one to one process. But it allows us to put many Sonos uh, and Miro bridges together so you could have up to six sources or 12 sources or, or whatever your system allows for. So once you install uh, the new firmware updater, you select the uh, version 2.0 beta, still in beta. Um, then you hit clear device and then update firmware and you're all set. So once you do that, you would bring up your web page and you'll notice that you've got Miro Bridge 2.0 um, and then it says add a Sonos component. So the neat thing about that is that you've got it on your touch screen and you also have it on your Uno S2 keypad. So here's a Sonos ZP90. In order to pair it you push the plus and the mute just for a second and you'll see it doing its pairing deal. And then, automagically, it ties in and says uh, Finding Zone Player Development Unit, which is the one. And there we go. So we've got the actual Tiger's radio, um, and it brings in all the information. We've also enabled the shuffle button if you have a TS2. Obviously, a Pandora is what we're listening to right now. It doesn't allow you to uh, you know, activate the shuffle. But if you were on your music library and it did allow you to do that, it would uh, reflect that. So then we go back to our web page. We hit reload or refresh, and you can see all the information with the new development unit. So if we power down and we power the unit back up, uh, it will actually remember this because it's, it's stored in memory. So the version 2.0 firmware of Sonos um, allows us to do... Uh, Sonos device pairing and it allows us to enable the shuffle button and there's a bunch of more features that we've uh, added as well um, just under the cover performance increases and also being able to um, you know filter messages based on the paired device so you're not getting all this other traffic so it's just a lot of a lot of improvements um, that we've done so uh, Hope you enjoy that. Oh, another one that we've done too is that if you're listening to Pandora Radio and it goes to no music, which or it goes to a stop state after a certain amount of timeout, Pandora usually does one hour or five hours depending on your account, it will automatically play it for you. So that's another cool feature. Anyways, if you have any questions, uh, send them my way, uh, Danny at MyRoadControl.com. There you have it, Sonos version 2.0 firmware.